All right. Hi, everyone. This is, I'm going to run through, and I'll try to keep it brief, how to, um, basically, some of the highlights in terms of setting up a Google account and also setting up a Google Voice. And remember, there's other options to texting students. Um, let me do a caveat. I don't overuse it. I just use it in specific cases where I really need to get a hold of the students. I don't want it to become a burden for them to constantly be managing text. So my, my key communication with students is through my NIAC email. And I like to communicate to them through their email. But sometimes another option is good. Alright, so we'll get started. First thing here, this, um, this is a link. And I'll also give you access to this document other than in this form. So you can click on that stuff and, and use it. Okay? So you're going to create an account. Okay? So... <clears throat> So right here, create an account, and it gives you all kinds of information here. Um, you could use, here's where I use my NIAC email, Dirk's Mick. And then, of course, you choose a password and verify. Make sure you choose a, a secure password. And then just fill this in. And then you have your CAPTCHA to make sure you're a human. And you fill that in. And then agree, and you can create a Google account. So I have um, actually three major Google accounts I use. Um, I got a private one that I use extensively, uh, almost for everything. I've got one I use um, for football, and then I've got one here I use at NIAC for NIAC things. Okay? The next step, after you get a Google account, you will... <clears throat> You can log in then. Let me clean this up a bit here. You can log in to <clears throat> your Google account. It's like right here, if you can see that. Dirk Smick. And then you'll get this group of menus up here with different things you can do. Someday, you know... How we use you, how I use YouTube, and lots of people do, and and so forth. You click the more, and then we're going to go even more. Okay. And then you get a page that looks like this, and there's all these things that you can do in Google and use in Google. Okay, for example, here's YouTube and, and so forth. But we're not going to use any of those right now. And so you would scroll down here. You're going to scroll down and down here on the left. Down here on the left. I will show you, I think. Not to scroll up here. I guess uh, I'll show you on the next page. All right, there it is, Google Voice. And so you'll click that, and <clears throat> that'll take you into Google Voice. So let me see, we've got the next screen right here. If you're doing it for the first time, if you're doing it for the first time, you'll get a screen here that's going to want you to create a number. Okay, what I had to do since I already had created this but didn't have a number, get a voice number. And as far as I know, there's no limit on how many voice numbers. Okay, so I believe then we'll go to the next page. All right, here's what I selected I want a new number. So I click that. <clears throat> I I wouldn't tie it to your current phone number. So I click that. And then what I did, when it wants to know a number to connect it to, I have it connected to my college number. Because I'm just going to use this. I selected here work. 
because I'm going to use this phone number primarily here at the college for work. If I ever go to a different college, I could either keep using this and, and just change this number. That's probably what I would do. Or if I went, um, did some work somewhere else, I could just close this out and be done with it. Okay? All right. The next thing, it wants you to verify this. Okay? So you will click call me now, and then it's going to call this number. And then it's going to ask you to verify this. You get one of them nice recordings uh, voice and, you, and they ask you to enter your two digit code. And so I typed in 06. And they said nice job it worked. That isn't exactly what they said but they said something to that. Alright looks like it's the next page. Then they let me pick a number. Now, how I did this, there's, it's, it's hard to see, but when it comes up for you, this says area, zip code, and so 